I'm going to get our viewers up. I've been noticing this thing trips the breaker. Now the motor's fine. I did pull this motor apart and check it a couple of times. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the windings. It even smells fresh from the factory still. So, this is our culprit. This breaker is not chipping at it. It's correct rating. It's supposed to be a 10 hour breaker. If the motor stalls, it'll chip. But this breaker is just chipping because the motor's trying to start and it chips this breaker. Even under a slight load now, it's just gotten worse and worse and worse. Under more, under slight amounts of load. There's not even a 10 amp breaker, 5 amp. That explains it. What's the rating on this plate? Uh, let's see here, 4.78 amps. This is when it's in use, so. Well, this is, this is a 0.7, oh, it's a run horsepower motor. I don't expect that to load the motor up too much, so I'll put a 10 amp breaker on this thing. It's not running too hot, so it's fine. Well, it's actually wrong. This is a 5 amp breaker. It explains why it trips so damn easily. Because even when it tries to start, it just trips this out. It's not allowing the motor to start sometimes, so... Yeah. You need to be careful with these cheap breakers. I always keep a lot of these. Everything I pull apart has one of these breakers in it, especially an older type of whatever it is, a power board or whatever. I keep these. Yeah, this is obviously a very cheap one. 5 amp. The ones I've got are 10 amp. That'd be fine for this. So this will stall and trip on 10 amps if the motor stalls and tries and starts. So I've still got to protect the motor. It will just be uh, more reliable than this one. So I'll go dig out my stash and put a 10 amp one of these breakers in. Oh. Okay, Bill, so this is what I'd recommend. I've noted this is actually quite a good manufacturer. Jomex and Exit I've found this to be actually quite a reliable manufacturer in these box circuit breakers. Model 77 series. Proper, this is a properly certified one. 10 air, 50 volt AC, or 50 volts DC. 10 air, 50 volt AC. Certified, a certified manufacturer of these types of breakers to be able to find and these sorts of power boards. But you're lucky that uh, try and go for older ones. Older ones have this brand. The newer ones nowadays have a Chinese uh, generic one of these. I find them to be pretty unreliable once I like, chip a couple of times. These I've noticed even if you chip them multiple times, they are still pretty reliable. So, recommended. Stick to this brand for these top of circuit breakers. That's better. I won't bother banning the terminals there. I don't need to rewire this thing yet. Not only for I'm soon anyway. Oh yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like a very nice one this one. 32 volt DC. Yeah, 5 amp breaker. Used to be good for my little uh, little power supply, 12 volt power supply or something like that. That's what that'd be good for. Too underrated, too underrated. A lot of these chipped out at you know, my old work for years, these are fan motors. Now a lot of these just chipped out, but well, they go and reset these every now and again. It's not a problem with the motor, it's just that these are underrated. They're a cheaply made design. So, it's a mech trick. Monarch, a mech trick. Mechanical and electrician's uh, website that sell this stuff online. Mech trick uh, retail motor. I often source these where it's cheaper because they're cheaply designed. Because those breakers keep chipping for no bloody reason. The motor's not even necessarily under that much load for it to chip. So, yeah, these aren't, these aren't um, are chipping out well under the motor's fact, uh, maximum rated capacity. So, yeah, you're fine with a 10 amp breaker. Okay, there's a rearranging in it. We've been troubleshooting this. Yep, no spark. So it's a bit of a bugger. The little uh, centrifugal bits of metal that grab. I'll fix that one. That one there starts okay now. So you just uh, give them a good resharpen with the foil so that they grab onto the starter cup when you pull the rope. So that's an easy fix. I just wear that after a while. I've got to redo that one here. That one here started to slip now. Trying to start it, then yeah, 
no spark, I put him doing all those tests to troubleshoot it, I've wore the, uh, the starter teeth out. But they're an easy fix, I can just uh, file those really sharp and they'll be fine. That's how I fix the parts mower. So I've got two good running mowers and one that doesn't run. <laughs> anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.